Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word. The Daily Prophetic Word for Friday, the 11th of October 2019 is Bible verses about helping the needy. Luke 6, 20, 21. Then he looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Luke 4, 16-19 When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he was anointed, he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Matthew 25, 34-36 Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come you, set up, blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom, prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Mark 10, 21-22 Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Go sell what you own and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, he was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Mark 12, 41 to 44. He sat down opposite the treasury and watched the crowd putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow came and put in two small copper coins, which are worth a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury. For all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. Luke 14, 12 to 14. He, he said also to the one who had invited him, When you give a luncheon or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or your neighbors in case they may invite you in return and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay pay you, and you will be repaid at the resurrection of the, of the righteous. Luke eleven thirty nine to 42 Then the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees, clean the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You fools, did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? So give for I am those things that are within, and see, everything will be clean for you. But woe to you, Pharisees, for you ties mint and rue and herbs of all kinds, and neglect justice and the love of God. Luke 12, 16-21 Then he told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly, and he thought to himself, What shall I do? Where shall I store my crops? Then he said, I will do this. I will put down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods, and I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is worse. So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich toward God. Psalm 41.1 Blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in his time of trouble. Proverbs 14.31 He who oppresses the poor reproaches his maker, but he who honors him has mercy on the needy.
Proverbs 22, 22 to 23. Do not rob the poor because he is poor, nor oppress the afflicted at the gate, for the Lord will plead their cause and plunder the soul of those who plunder them. Zechariah 7.10 Do not oppress the widow of the fatherless, the alien or the poor. Let none of you plan evil in the heart against his brother. Matthew 19.21 Jesus said to him, If you want to be perfect, go sell what you have and give the, to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. Luke 14.12-14 then he, Jesus, also said to him who invited him, When you give a dinner or a supper, do not ask your friends, your brothers, your relatives, nor rich neighbors, lest they all invite you back, and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed, because they cannot repay you. Galatians 2.10 They desired only that we should remember the poor, the very thing which I also was eager to do. James 2, 2-4 two four. For if there should come into your assembly a man with gold rings and fine apparel, and there should also come in a poor man in filthy clothes, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes, and say to him, You sit here in a good place, and say to the poor man, You stand there, or sit here at my footstool. Have you not shown partiality among yourselves, and become judges with evil thoughts? James 1.27 Pure and genuine religion in the sight of God the Father means caring for the orphans and widows in their distress and refusing to let the world corrupt you. James 2.15-16 Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing and you say, Goodbye and have a good day, stay warm and eat well. But then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? Luke three ten to eleven, and the people asked him, saying, "What shall we do then?" He answered and said unto them, "He that had two coats, let him part to him that had none, and he that had meat, let him do likewise." Isaiah sixty one one, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor; he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. There are many more verses that command us to help the needy and to share our resources with the meek, the children, the widows and the poor. People of God, I stand in front of you as a witness of a compassionate heart and as a witness that the Lord has called for us to gather you together in love, unity and support so that you share resources and support one another because we are starting to go through the seal tribulation and in this time period we need to come together in communities of love and righteousness so that we can come out of the world and out of Babylon and walk the path towards the holy mountain towards Mount Zion so please Study your Bible about all the verses. There are so many where the Lord has commanded us to help the needy, the children, the widows, the poor. Do not reject them. Do not say, oh, God will take care. This is only a lame excuse. Do not say, oh, just start to pray and everything will be given to you. Open your heart. Be a true Christian support, share, and help wherever you can. If you have excess of $1,500, share 500 Remain with 1000 for your own purpose. But you have done a good work, and you have done the righteous deeds of the saints. Thank you, thank you that you have listened to this daily prophetic word, and I hope you will come back tomorrow again. Please also listen to our you in the great Exodus series. We will explain on this Bible verses more and more. Thank you for your understanding and thank you that you are with me and with my ministry and that you will help the children in our mission to Cambodia and that you will also help me with grace to recover. Thank you for all your help, your donations. I will put a link in the first pinned comment that you can follow to see 
how you can support our ministry and the children. Have a blessed day and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. I love you all so dearly, my brothers and sisters. Let us come together in love, unity and support. Maranatha.